Welcome to Late Late Night Gaming. My name is Rachel and today we will be finishing Life is Strange. I'm not even going to do a recap because the game does it for me. So we're just going to continue. On Life is Strange. I forgot to bring up photo opportunities. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. Dude, that part in was door? infuriating. You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Oh. Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Shit is getting real. Oh my gosh. When this episode comes out, the new game will already be out. I'm so excited for it. I hope it's good. And I did buy Life is Strange 2. So maybe somewhere in the future I'll play that as well. Just to give it another shot. Because I didn't particularly care for it when I first played it. Not like I did this one. Where is he? Chloe? I will kill him. What? Where? Oh shit, we got a binder now. Uh, it's in dark room. <gasps> oh my gosh. Victoria. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Finally, I'm free. Almost. God, 
I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. <sighs> So if you have never played this game before, warning Victoria actually sends her running off to Jefferson talking about this dark room and he kidnaps her too. If we hadn't warned her, she wouldn't have gone to Jefferson. But with the evidence that we had, it just feels like the with what we had, it just felt right to warn Victoria because that's the good thing to do. You didn't know that she, you know, at the time we didn't know it was Jefferson doing all this. What? Max, you have to find a way out of here. Oh. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. Ew. I like how there's an autofocus because I was like getting it and then it wouldn't hold. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! You're just a shitty photographer. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. Ugh, you're so gross, Jefferson. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. <gasps> Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed 
that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Same. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Oh. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. Okay, let's try this again. See, like, I'm getting it, and then it... Oh, release all keys. Oh. I thought I had to keep it. Like locked on. I was like, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Are we supposed- am I supposed to do something? What's happening? Wake up! Alright, let's see if this works this Please time. Work. Okay. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, 
Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. Ew. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. I go back and forth on Nathan. I think Nathan is a very interesting character. There's a part of me that feels sorry for him, but then, you know, he's a very great character. He did what he did. But, like, I do think Jefferson used him. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim. Not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. <laughs> That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. 
Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Damn it. Okay. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. With a heart, a battered old heart. I could frame any one of you in a dark. I actually really love this photo jumping mechanic. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic. Right image. back where I started <clears throat> this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. Photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Ooh, okay, hold on. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. Can I just say, Max, to, well, to me, the way she's looking at Jefferson, like, she has that quiet anger that I love so much. Like, she's just like, you know. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. She is pissed. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, Let's Florida make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Dude, my left eye is twitching I so to much. David about Jefferson and the dark room. I'm so pissed off. 
transportation ever. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Uh, yeah, you are. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always <laughs> remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, I, I love. I, there's something about characters the hugging right to do. that makes my heart flutter. It's just so heartwarming. Never get to big goofy. Oh, look at that smile. Kate. <coughs> Don't worry, we're gonna take down Jefferson. But first, let me check photo two. I wanna see what she says about this now. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Oh, Jefferson, I got a picture for you. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. 
as you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Wait, when did we take a picture of him? Oh, I guess we did it. I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Holy shit, you roll, Max. I am Holy. so proud of you, of my Holy superstar. That is just Holy a startup God. career or whatever. A superstar? I, I fixed everything. Is that Freddy Fazbear? Dude, I'm about to pluck out my eyeball if it does not stop twitching. Or my eyelid. weird to be in between realities everything is out of focus and in the distance that would freak me out how the hell am i supposed to figure that out i have to admit i love being called an artist we're almost in san francisco I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I can't. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Hot Dog Man! Da -da 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 the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. To Moon Diner, amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad they, like, added this part, the, sec uh, the physical or sexual assault on the victims, because I was, like, when Jefferson was talking about how he looks to capture the moment to between when a victim is innocent and then corrupted, I'm like... What do you mean by corrupted? Ew. <laughs> like, I couldn't remember what he... 
what all he did to them. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. Max's outfit in this scene is so cute. Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many Ooh, realities. In one week. Week. There's Max's name right there. Life is weird. I forgot she did that shit. Life is weird. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. You Hold sound to like me. Jefferson. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Your voice is triggering me. It sounds like that pervert. Guest book? It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones.
But we don't- we don't get the... Oh, I like how it's, you know, a picture like this instead of a Polaroid. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a light. That is so cute. Lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away from that yapper. <clears throat> Aww. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, I love art. <laughs> you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Yet. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That is different. Loving the retro bad vibe. exposure. Me too. Bad Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Bad picture. Damn, I, I bet that done film cost so a fortune. Better. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The Zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. I kind of like talking to these people. I and... always get so inspired whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Thank you. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. I really do like her picture. It is so eye-catching. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. I have a journal. Do you want to see my pictures? Like, I, you know... Uh, 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 <laughs> I have a squirrel... And I have a squirrel. And I have a squirrel. And let me tell you what, I really pushed the boundaries with this one. I have two squirrels in one photograph. You will not believe it. It's crazy. Oh! Why are you looking at that? Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Of course he's looking at the picture of kissing. I not understand art. What did you say? I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Thank you. That was my intention the whole time. Should we go talk to. We'll probably talk to Wills. I think. Going to the photograph takes us back. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's kind of 
kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Kind of a weak buffet, if I'm going to be honest. How did these galleries afford to rent here? Money. This makes me feel so bad exposure. Was back bad framing. So much hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm, Chloe! I'm Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! We gotta get up to our selfie! Good. I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... You're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Oh, 
Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I don't remember that picture of him. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he, he burned my diary. Always That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? This is a bunker and the electricity is flickering. Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please! Don't do this! Oh, Max! I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Damn. No, Dave, 
Kevin, no! And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last this picture? This is a photo op. I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. Yeah, I want to know what it looks like. Oh, there we are. Hey. It's really fucked up that that's one of the photo ops. Does it keep the Okay, I just no want to make sure. Bleeds. Wait. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. This music? Ugh. I mean, this music is fine, but for, like, dying to? Hold it! What? Damn. Wait, can we... Okay, so we gotta do something else. Come on! I hate it when it slows down. We're gonna go with the picture option again, just because, like... What you I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. David! Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to He's stop. Hiding a gun over there. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh Lord, Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Now he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, 
I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. The Prescott's had to know Jefferson about looks so pathetic now. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. <clears throat> I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... we are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? I know what happens when both of these choices are made. What would Max do? I'm trying to think of, like, what Max would do in character. To me, I feel like the choices don't really matter at this point because we're going to go back in time anyway. So, I'm just going to have her tell the truth because I think... She would probably feel like this is the time for... I don't know. I'm gonna tell the truth. David... Uh, Chloe is... Is... Dead. This isn't happening. It can't... No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? 
Are you? Yes, I, I saw her. I, I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter? David, wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, uh, thank you for saving me. And now, I think she would go back in time and redo this. Because Max, you know, she says she's a pacifist, and I think seeing David kill Jefferson, that is not what she would want to do. Or want to happen. So she would go through this all, all again, and then hide the truth from him. Okay, now we would hide the truth. David, um... She was pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some <laughs> I do love that response. Use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. You're not getting away with this, Jefferson. Okay. Oh, Rachel. How could anybody... I'm gonna go get another Diet Coke before we get into the nitty gritty. Okay, I am back. With a Diet Coke, two PBJs in my tummy. I am good as gold. Let's go fuck shit up. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty 
pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. We can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. Just hold on. Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I am so happy this game did not glitch out on me because all the the first the only other time I ever heard that voicemail was when I played this game for the first time and then every other time I bought this game on like new consoles something would happen and I could not hear Nathan's voicemail and it's such a, like, pivotal part of his character. I was always so upset, like... I could never hear it. So I'm so glad we could hear it together. Alyssa needs help again. Wait! Help me get down! Don't go up here! Help me get down, Max! Alyssa! Are you okay? Let me help you down! Yes! Yes! Please, Max! I don't want to die like this! Find something to get me down! Out of 
here! Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. Watch out, Pat! Damn! That was close. Thank you, Alyssa. Now we're even! Be careful out there! Uh, we are not even. I have saved you five different times. How can I get out of here? Don't fail me, Fusebox. He's dead. Electrocuted. Here it is. Yes. I like how we take the time to take a picture. <laughs> So glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hold so on. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so 
I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? I want to be honest with him. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. No, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad. The bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Hopefully knowing, you know, he... Escape the two whales. ...was kind of a... Hopefully him knowing that he was kind of... ...a part of Rachel's death because of the fact that he sold drugs, maybe he will clean up his act and stop dealing them. I think if Frank were to use his, like, organizational skills and the accounting stuff and, like, he has skills. If he were to put them towards something else, I think he would achieve much greater things. And I don't know. Frank is one of those characters I just hope for the best for him. Though, how old is he? These characters are 18, right? Not Frank, but like, I don't know. The age thing, like him and Rachel's relationship is a little bit weird, but I don't know. I don't know about that aspect, but I don't think Frank is like an evil person. I don't really think he's Like a lot of characters in this game, he is a character that is settled in that gray area. He's got good traits and he's got bad ones. And that's what, makes this, that's what makes this game so good is because these characters feel very human. Even though they say weird shit, like him calling Rachel her his lioness. That's fucking weird. And I know it's because she's a Leo, but it's still weird. I've never met anyone who has ever Long talked as like I that. My papa do with me. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Frank is one of those characters I hope we see Joyce. in the new game. How are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Oh god. 
I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are holed up somewhere. <coughs> I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. You will, Joyce. You will. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend <coughs> Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not Glad only to the, see storm, that this little but the eclipse, bug the birds, the wheels, hasn't been fixed. Everything. All because, because of me? Also, in, in this week, war and with all this bullshit, you insane stuff I happening, school, I took a ventriloquism. Like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... Did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get 
drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I... I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person, not not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science, even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Hey. Be careful out there. We'll give him a hug. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. You're an everyday hero. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. I don't ship them together. I've had them kiss in the past, but... Replaying this now, I'm just like, yeah. You can you can tell Max is not into him like that. <clears throat> we got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry we are in to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Time! Because I was there. Time! You Time powers! Tell me exactly what happened. Please. Chloe, Jefferson 
drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And it, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... I, you asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Sorry I'm not talking much. I just don't like talking through dialogue. I mean, I made that ventriloquism joke, but that was very rare for me to talk through dialogue. I like experiencing the stories with you guys. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! 
I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I mean, I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on that. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. <sighs> Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I'm but back in class. About photography as he what the hell? Films. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have our to sorrow. listen to this Jefferson lecture again. To shadow. This From might be hell. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Of her images oh my god. Spaces, feel like oh my god. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? I like how he talked about <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock and then this Keep is happening. Seriously though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Oh wait, what? Oh. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. And eventually a photo up appears? Oh, Max Caulfield. Wait. Oh. I don't Chloe Price. This is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. I didn't even see it like change. It's crazy. Oh, I have never actually looked outside before. Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. I thought maybe we would see like his pictures and stuff on the wall. That is insane. I see you, Max Caulfield. 
Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. <laughs> my selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many Ooh. things I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Kate? Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. This is such a trippy part. Who am I? Who am I supposed to be? A key. Oh my god, it's a whale. This is so weird. Here's our obligatory squirrel pick. This one is for Samuel.
Ashley. Hey, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Look at it, and instead of taking a picture... Wait, did we get it? Oh, okay. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. No. So pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself is in the dark room. Maybe I'll be hey, safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Feet. Oh! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. This is crazy. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less Good evening, a photographer. Blackwell, this is Principal Well, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention, I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Max Caulfield, has died. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to Damn go? Damn it, in? Max. Go Wake up. Hey, go, hey, babe, babe. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Wait, sneak past him and then take the, the first right. Okay. Max, I know you're I wish in I here. Could press a button and you blow run, this whole fucking school. From your white knight. Give it up. And they're hungry. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Okay, where's... Oh, there. Okay, there it is. We're in that dark room again. <clears throat> oh, shit, Warren. That is too weird. Fucking gone. scary. Just in case I need evidence. Too bad you go, hey, hey, hey. The squirrels hate you, and they're hungry. Do you have? Do you have? You can't escape my surveillance, Missy. Admit it, Max. 
You're just jealous because we have Victoria. Admit it, Max. You're a stone. A blockhead. A weak. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Especially after I put my body up to be with her one final time. <laughs> I sure Why are you looking at me like that? Max. Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Sweet. When I bury your carcass next to Rachel and do an epic photo shoot. You will be my greatest portrait, Max. Hey, Max, what the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm dead? Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Oh, man, Rachel looked just like a zombie. Ooh, Oops. I did not see him. Max, me and Rachel. Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Come on down. You should have heard Chloe Just because Max I'm mentally it. ill doesn't mean I Beans. Beans. <laughs> okay, where are these other bottles? I sure hope you don't think we're buddies now. Don't you dare run away. Max, Is there one more left? Come back in the dark room. I know you're dying for it. Max, especially you. Please let that be the last one. Okay, this is I the need last proof photo. The bottles were out to get me, just in case. Whoa! Yay! We got all of them. Do we have to sit for this? There's the squirrels. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey honey, just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Can you imagine having to witness you this four times? The queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? Why is it telling me to tab journal? Okay, there we go. I 
I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. Stop I wish it. I would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. Stop. You Stop, are the game. Real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Oh! Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Zero three one one. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, I was happy Max. just being your friend. Yeah, I thought we were on the same team. Why do you want all Whoa, your friends to die? Whoa, look at all the people out there. I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Breaker, breaker. I guess my husband and new Don't let the squirrels die. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. <laughs> You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. 
She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song, this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? You, sa you saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before- Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max- Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a- Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Be 
Because not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Babe when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was on... Chloe! You're back! I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, what? Come on, Max, we're Max, almost we're there. Almost there. Whoa. Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. Just a red shirt. Okay. I don't know why I was surprised to see that. Max. Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. 
Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. To me, there is only one option that makes the most sense. I know... <clears throat> I'm not super big in the fandom, but I have seen, like, how people feel about this decision. And they're like, how could you sacrifice Chloe? How could you? How could you? Max, Max and Chloe for life. And I'm like... One person, hundreds of people. And it's like, there are so many good people in Arcadia Bay. To me... That just it outweighs, like, one good person. When I first played this game, I remember it being a no-brainer for me. Because it's like... Um, it just makes the most sense to sacrifice Chloe. I think if we were to just keep her alive, more and more death is just going to follow her. And it's just, it's just delaying the inevitable that she is destined to die. Like, she just... I don't know. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. I'm so glad they didn't have us focus. It would have ruined the flow of everything. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, 
Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, joys.
God damn, seeing Joyce like that. That's two people that she has loved that she has lost in like five years. can't imagine how hard that is. I know in Life is Strange 2, this is a spoiler, but you meet David again. And he's connected. You find out, like, what happens after uh, um, you find out what happens like after your choices of sacrificing Chloe or Arcadia Bay um, I won't say what happens in case you haven't played Life is Strange 2 but I I just hope that I just hope we get to see some of these characters in double exposure. Maybe not see, but know like what happened to them. Like I want to know how Joyce is doing. I want to know how Frank is doing. Um you know, I want to know, like, what happened to all the other, all our other classmates. How's Kate? How's Warren? Um, I really hope that they, they bring these characters back. Maybe not, like, in physical form, but maybe just references. Because this game is so nostalgic. And they really lean into the nostalgia aspect in this game. Like, you know, you you play as Max and you reunite with your, your childhood best friend. And Max is, you know, the, she's reuniting with you know, her past. And, like, when she's in Chloe's bedroom for the first time in five years, she's going around like, oh, Chloe, you know, her and I used to do this, and her and I used to do that. It's reminiscing about childhood. And I think especially now, nostalgia is... A lot of people are feeling it. Especially on TikTok when you come across those, like, slideshows of, you know, this is what a Christmas party in grade school used to be like, and... You realize that the world used to be so much more colorful when you were a kid. Um... I think if the developers didn't allow you to find out or, like, know what happened to these characters after the events of this game, I think they would be missing out on a big aspect of Life is Strange. I am really hoping they deal with the sequel with double exposure. I hope they just do such a good job with it. I have really high hopes for them or for it fans thanks for your amazing support art gives passion and crazy theories it has been such a great honor to have you dwelling in arcadia bay with us yeah i had a feeling it would be really close this option just feels the most right 
Um, it just, it does. There are fans that, um, I think I talked about it in a previous episode where I saw a TikTok, um, this person was talking about how, uh, this YouTuber they watched, she didn't like how he dealt with Life is Strange 2. And a lot of people were like, yeah, his playthrough of Life is Strange was so frustrating because he didn't understand that one either. And, um, and I think, I can't remember what he decided, but people were like, yeah, he, he sacrificed Chloe. How could he do that? And I'm like, because to me... It's the morally right thing to do. I guess it just depends on what your morals are. Like, do you sacrifice an entire town of people for the life of a single person? And to me, it just doesn't feel right. And, and Chloe herself was like, you have to kill me. You have to let me die. You can't save me. It is, I am the reason why all of this is happening because you have been delaying the inevitable. I feel like if you were to let her live, it's just, I think, I think the world would just try its hardest to get rid of her. And that is so, that would be so traumatizing to Max. Or I, I, I think she wouldn't be able to live a, a full life if she had to be, you know, on her toes every second of the day, making sure that her, her best friend lives. Because for some reason, the world is out to get Chloe. I don't know. People are, they get, some fans just get so mad when when people sacrifice Chloe and I'm like you don't have to David got a scar during the fight I didn't realize he I feel like I, every time I've played this <gasps> I didn't see Evan uh oh you saved the trucker I didn't see Evan whoops you saved Alyssa. I didn't see... I didn't... Oh, he was the guy that was in the... Thing. Uh, you helped Joyce believe in David again. You told the truth about Rachel to Frank. Yeah. Frank is one of those characters... These two. Joyce and Frank. I want to know what happened to them the most. And Kate. Those three characters are the ones that I'm like... I want to know what happened to them after the events of, of Life is Strange. Oh, man. We have to. We have to get the final photo that I missed. We gotta wrap this, this, uh, ow! We gotta wrap, <laughs> my hand slid, ow. We gotta wrap it up on a good note. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Yo, Justin. Check out the mag. Oh, yeah? What's your first move gonna be? Uh... You're such a... Okay, Shut up. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. We're done talking. We're too sketchy. Uh-oh. 
Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, We did it. We got it. Oh, it feels awesome. We got all of them. We got all of them. I 100% of the game, guys. I got all the achievements. It was the only one that I needed. Despite the subject matter, you know, with the whole Jefferson thing and, and Kate, you know, her story. I don't know, this game was like a warm hug. It's just, yeah. There's not much else I want to say about this. I've When I first played this, I, do, I don't think I cried. But now that I'm older, of course I cried. I've been crying to games that I did not get emotional with when I played them for the first time, like The Walking Dead. I freaking cried playing that game. Like, literally the first game that I have ever cried to was Red Dead 2. And it just seems like the older I get, the more emotional I get toward things. And <sighs> it feels kind of good to cry, though. That was something that I learned in in Psych 101: is crying is therapeutic. So sometimes you just I don't know, you just need to let go. And this is a good game to let go with, you know. I'm ready for double exposure. I hope, I hope for the best for that game. Cause, like I said, Life is Strange 2 was not a favorite of mine. I didn't, I didn't care for it as much as I did this one. Uh, Before the Storm, I didn't care about as much as this one. I think one, they changed the voice actress for Chloe. I don't know, there was something that happened with the studio and stuff. And it was like, the original voice actress for Chloe went on strike? I don't know, something happened. So it was a different actress voicing Chloe. And to me, it's just, it was like too jarring of a difference. I mean, she wasn't bad, but I'm like, this isn't Chloe. I feel bad saying that, but it, it's just, it's true. Like, I'll, I'll eventually play those on the channel just because I feel like I need to give them a second chance. There's a lot of games that I need to give second chances or a lot of things in life that I need to give second chances to. It's because maybe like my my perspective on life has changed, so my reaction to certain things will change as well. All right, I need to wrap it up. I gotta, gotta go to bed. It's four in the morning. I have work. I gotta, I gotta get to sleep. So, thank you so much for watching. This this series hasn't gotten a lot of attention. I think the the most viewed video in this series was the second one uh, with Kate, but this is one of those games that I thought would get more views and it just didn't. 
but maybe further down the line people will see it come across their their recommendations and they'll give it a try and who knows but it's on my channel and I feel good that it's on my channel it's just a staple to me you have to play Life is Strange so I am I'm happy that I played it and that's about it so I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you in the next video bye bye